I think there's huge benefits to events like Digital Tuesday. Uh, one of our challenges is actually make people aware of the fund, what it does, what it's actually invested in. So it gives us a chance to be able to reach a large number of people from established companies to newer startups uh, in, in one quick hit. And obviously time is of essence these days, uh, so it's a great opportunity for us to spread the word. I was out in Stockholm last week at a, an, an internet conference and the technology talks were interesting in themselves. However, the real work was done in the networking session where like-minded individuals can get together and learn. And it's amazing how much you don't know. The more you know, the more you realise you don't know. So these events where you can network with like-minded individuals and also learn from people who just come at things from a, a slightly different angle can have a huge impact on how you view things and then how you do things going forward. There's plenty of uh, clubs and associations that represent the professions, the lawyers, the accountants, the, the financiers, uh, and that we're awash with them. What we've never had is the opportunity for particularly the younger generation coming through who are interested in technology and, and, and particularly digital technology to have a forum to, to learn, to exchange ideas and to, and to look for funding. I think a lot of people like to be called an entrepreneur and it's, it's, it's banded about a lot. I think entrepreneur means risk taker so it's easy to weed out those people that are entrepreneurs and not entrepreneurs, see what risks they're taking. I mean that's uh, pretty much works out who, who the entrepreneur is in the, uh, in the house. But I think these forums are such a good idea. Um, you've got a room full of mentors, you've got a room full of investors, and a room full of the, full of the young blood that's coming through that, that will be bringing our uh, the innovations for the future.